Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Kaval Mehta. And today we will discuss how to do the prediction for a new data set in logistic regression in NAI. We run the logistic regression analysis when we are having one dependent variable and many independent variables. It is mandatory that the dependent variable is on the categorical scale, the example of which is patient having the heart disease or not having the heart disease. The independent variables can be on continuous or categorical scale. After running the logistic regression to check the accuracy of the model, we generate the confusion matrix. Let's take a small example. A person is having a COVID or normal. This we want to detect with the help of COVID kit. So a person is having a COVID and the kit detected it that yes, the person is having a COVID by the kit. So 50 are such cases where the kit worked successfully. Similarly, a person was normal and the kit also detected it that yes, the person is normal. So 114 are such cases in which the kit works successfully. Basically, 114 plus 50, these two, are correctly classified cases. So 164 cases have been correctly classified. But let's talk about this six. A person was normal and the kit detected that a person is having a COVID. Six such cases are there. Similarly. A person was having a COVID and the kit detected it that the person is normal. So 22 are such misclassified cases. So in total 22 plus 6, 28 are misclassified cases. Or rather it is also known as a leakage in the model. So now how we will do the prediction for a new data set? Let's see in the NIME analytics platform. So for this I go here and I'll activate input output node. I'll double click on it so that I can browse the data set which is in CSV format. Click open, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and see the file table. Now here my target variable is a heart disease which is a categorical. That's the reason we are using logistic regression analysis. This uh, we want to classify on the basis of age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise. They all are on different scales. That's the reason we want to normalize it. So I'll activate the normalizer from here. Again right click on it and configure. Remove old pig and fasting blood sugar. Three types of normalization are available. Mean max normalization, Z square normalization, normalization by decimal scale. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the normalized table. You will see age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, and maximum hours. They have been normalized now and they are in the range of 0 to 1. Now, let's activate the partitioning. We want to partition the data set. Double click on it, right click on it and configure. So 80 percentage of the data will be used for training purpose and 20 percent for the testing purpose. Click OK, right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and see the first partition which consists of 80 percentage data set. Again right click on it and see the second partition which is a testing data set, 20 percent. Now activate the logistic learner from here. Configure heart disease target column and reference category will be no. Remove all the variables, only include those variables which have been normalized age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, and maximum hours of exercise. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the coefficient and statistics. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos in which I have already explained the coefficients and the interpretation of the p-value. Once the model is created, now I will activate the logistic regression predictor. Disconnect this from here. I'll consider the remaining 
for the prediction. Right click on it and configure. Click on custom prediction column name. Tap in column names with the predicted probabilities. Click OK. Again, right click on it and execute. Again, right click and see the predicted data. So you can see here, yeah, this is the prediction of heart disease. And this is the original data. So this is according to the model and this is our original data. Now we want to check that how well the model fits the data and therefore we will activate the scorer from here. Scorer, double click on it. Again, right click on it and configure. Activate the heart disease from here and prediction heart disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the confusion matrix. So here, 44 uh, patients are such that they are not having a heart disease and the model also predicted correctly, 44. Similarly here, 87, 82 are such patients where they are having the heart disease and the model also predicted correctly. But the misclassification happened here, 31 plus 27. Now how much is a classification accuracy? Right click on it and accuracy statistics is 0.685 which is very much less than the, uh, you can say the reasonable limits. Anyway, for the learning purpose, we will proceed further. Once this model has been generated, now there is a new data set on which we want to do the prediction. So what I'll do is, I will copy this node here, or rather let me copy this entire thing. Copy, control V. Just a minute. One, two, three. Right click on it. Copy. Uh, so we'll have to copy individually only. One. Then. Two. Then three. Now connect this. One. Before we proceed further, right click on it and configure. Here, we are having the heart one, the original data. We will change the data set now. Heart one test. Click open. So these are the new data. This is a completely new data set. Click OK. Now press this double arrow. So uh, I think partitioning is not required now. Remove partition. Okay. We want to predict for this new data with the help of logistic regression predictor. I'll connect this normalizer here and this uh, logistic regression predictor will learn from the original data set. Right click on it, configure, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again right click on it and see the predicted data. So you can see the prediction which is being done. This is a prediction and this is the original data. You can also activate the scorer from here to compare how well the model is working in training and testing data set. So this is a score for the training data set and this is for testing also or for a new data set. We can say that we also configure, click OK, right click on it, execute. Again, right click on it and see the confusion matrix. So you can see here that in three, uh, four plus two, six cases, the classification was correct. One plus three, four cases, the classification accurate, or uh, rather they are misclassified cases. Again, right click on it and see the accuracy statistics. It is quite low. So this is a way you can do the prediction for a new data set in NIME. For more videos on NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I've already uploaded many videos on NIME.